What is going on, everybody? I am back on the Black White 2 Wi Fi battle. This time it is an RE match that I had against someone by the name of the Golden Boy 225 or something along those lines in the Smogum Battle Finder. And I'm still using the RE team I had in my last RE battle upload. And the um, only change I really had to make to it was I had to replace Nidal Queen since I did leave RU this last tier change. So I, I decided to replace it with Tangrowth because Tangrowth, it, it's bulky and it hits hard. So I guess that kind of fills the same role that Nidal Queen did. It's bulky and it hits hard, but not as hard. So, anywho, uh, we just have to see where things go. And looking at his team, he has a couple of Pokemon that could be a pretty big threat to my team if they get a chance to set up being Crawdont and Gallade. Crawdont mainly just because I really don't have any form of priority really to take hits or to hit that thing with. So it's going to be a bit problematic if I don't get rid of that thing early on or cripple it. So, for out with the match, I decided to lead off with my Yuxi as he leans off with his Sand Slash. Just, just gonna go for the Psychic first turn, just get some damage off on this thing. As he goes for the X Scissor, so offensive Sand Slash. And, I mean, the damage that that thing does is kind of eh. But the fact that he switches out right here, that's. I, I really don't know what's with this Sand Slash, but I decided to go for the U turn anyways, just to go into something else to take the. Or no, I believe I just, I was going to go into my Omastar, so I could take whatever he was throwing me and then get up some hazard and just kill the thing with a Scald. But he ends up switching out into Karagnal, so I go into my Embor here, and right here I decide to go for the Flare Blitz, or no, the Superpower, expecting him to want to go into his Relicant to avoid the Flare Blitz. But he ends up going into his Sand Slash instead, so that thing is actually going to end up surviving just because Sand Slash is pretty bulky, and Embor, or yeah. Anywho, he just, like I said, he just barely lives. I'm at the minus one attack and defense, and I know I can kill the thing, but I don't want him getting a free switch into something else while I'm at minus two attack and defense. So I decided to go into my Yuxi here, figuring he was just going to go for the Earthquake, and he does. And the fact that he switches out right here is kind of telling me that either A, he really wants to preserve his Sand Slash for some reason, or B, he's choice in some way, which makes not a lot of sense to me. So I decided to go for the Thunder Wave, just having the gut feeling that maybe he is probably going to want to switch out. And he does, he ends up going to Dirt, which is very nice for me, because now that thing is crippled and I can do whatever I want with it. So I decided to go for the U-Turn, as he actually ends up switching out again into his Chronons. And I want to get some really good damage on that thing, I was honestly surprised that the U-Turn did that much. So I decided to go into my, um, almost said Watt Ghost here. Even though that's its nickname, uh, Rotom here just so I can easily clean that thing out with a Thunderbolt because I know I'm faster than it because Crawdont has like slow speed. So that thing's dead and I believe it just goes into his Gallade here. Now right here I was honestly debating going for the Pain Split on the off chance that maybe he wanted to Shadow Sneak which as you see he ends up doing that way I can uh, get some good damage off on him and then get HP back and all that kind of fun stuff but I decided to go for a shadow ball because if he was going to be a sub bulk upset and if he wanted to substitute and start doing that right now then that would be pretty bad for me so I decided to just go for the shadow ball and then go into my almost star because I know if he wants to go for a because no because I know I could take a shadow sneak and then I could take a close combat or a drain punch on the following turn I'm figuring it's probably drain punch since he has leftovers and yeah, so uh, I know I could take a Shadow Sneak and then a Dragon Punch or Close Combat the following turn with, with Omastar. And the thing that kind of confused me is that he went for a second Shadow Sneak when I was in, which doesn't make a lot of sense at all to me because as you saw, he was leftovers, not choice. So I really don't know why he didn't do that. So. Uh, Sand Slash comes in, I know I could outspeed that with, with Omastar, getting just kill that thing off of the Scald, and I believe he has two Pokemon left? I don't remember. He's got this, uh, Relicanth left, that's what the second's name is. I decided to go for Scald just because, hey, you know what, I'm just going to leave Omastar and his Death Botter because, I don't know, I don't know, I could have just gone into Tangrowth and gone for the Giga Drain, but whatever. So, I'm just staying here going for Skulls because it's, I don't know, because why not? And I'm not seeing any recoil, 
or and I'm not seeing like any life orb or leftovers, so maybe this thing's choice banded? I, I honestly don't know at this point, just because the way his team is, I'm just honestly confused on what's up with this team. So, uh, finish him off this following turn with another... No, I switch out now. For Why do I... S oh, well, whatever. I go into my Yuxi, and I decide to just go for a U-turn. I, I really don't know what's up with me making these plays this time, because I had this battle, like, late at night. So, I was kind of just, like, out of it a little bit. But, just go for a U-turn, finish off this thing, and I believe I just go into Embor now, because Embor can pretty much tear through the rest, the rest of his team being Durant and Cryogonal. So, yeah, at this point it's pretty much game, because a Scarfed Embor can outspeed, obviously, a Paralyzed Durant and a Cryogonal. So, um, yeah, that was game, and anyways, uh, you actually don't get to see Tangrowth in this battle, which is kind of upsetting, because I really wanted to use Tangrowth to see how it works with this team, but... Uh, oh, excuse me, unfortunately, I did not get the chance. So, um, yeah. Anywho, that was about that, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this battle. If you did, feel free to leave a comment down below. Do not forget to show the like button some love, and if you are not subscribed to me already and wish to see more battles and such in the near future, then feel free to click that subscribe button down below. So, with all that stuff being said, thanks for watching, and peace.